Hey, party people, welcome back. It's Emily and... We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special announcement. Well, uh, <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> Anyways, Lego is making Animal Crossing sets and they sent them to us early so we can get a first look. There are five new sets, all with unique minifigures that are just adorable. They cost a range between 15 bells and 75 bells. And as an Animal Crossing cozy gamer girly and someone who ate, slept, breathe Animal Crossing in 2020. I am so excited that these exist. So let me show you all of the sets up close. And then after that, I've created my own five-star Lego Animal Crossing Island with myself as a villager, incorporating all of the sets into a massive layout. I can't wait to show you. It is so cute, but now time for the sets. The smallest set at 15 bells is Julian's birthday party. There aren't any huge builds in this, but Julian is the most precious little unicorn. The pink tree is really cute and surprise there's stuff hidden inside the set includes lots of little accessories and presents and this is actually the only set that seems to take place in spring all the others are set in summer the next set is bunny's outdoor activities for 20 bells and it comes with bunny as a minifigure there are lots of tree builds again with surprises inside a tent for bunny to sleep in a campfire and a handful of useful tools for catching butterflies and a pesky tarantula i don't know why i said it like that breaking the rock in the set reveals hidden bells and you can use a pole to jump over the river. You're also able to find a fossil if you dig in the hole. Side note, there's actually no stickers in this set. Everything is printed, which is absolutely fantastic. Print it, don't stick it. That's what I always say. Then third, we have Captain's Island Boat Tour for 30 bells, and it comes with Captain and Marshall as minifigures. This set takes place on a remote island where you can find Marshall. There's a few critters hanging around, such as the fish and hermit crab, and you can also find a recipe card. Just like the last set, breaking this rock reveals bells. On the beach, we have a few lounge chairs where you can enjoy the sunshine. The best part of the set, though, is Captain in the boat. He has a Stanley Cup, <laughs> cute, and sheet music for KK Slider. Where is KK Slider in these sets, by the way? I miss him. The motor on the boat also spins, which is cool. Fourth, there's Isabelle's house visit for 40 bells, and this set includes Isabelle and Fauna as minifigures. This is a charming house for Fauna, which my husband actually has in his Animal Crossing village, which is pretty exciting. A feature that I love here is that the windows are interchangeable. It comes with two sets of windows, so you can swap them out and customize it. And then the build for the house is basic, but aesthetically pleasing. The wooden details are so pretty on the front. Inside the house, it comes with lots of furniture that the set encourages you to move around however you like, just like the game. It comes with an apple tree, another hole in fossil, a crafting bench with several tools, a slingshot to shoot the present out of the sky, a mailbox, veggies, but most importantly, Isabelle. I'm so happy we get her as a minifigure. She is adorable. Finally, we have Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house for 75 bells. It comes with Tom Nook and Rosie as minifigures. And starting with Rosie's house, there's a little tea party going on outside, an orange tree, and a mailbox. The house is similar to Fauna's house with customizable windows, and you're able to swap roofs with the two houses here if you like. Inside, we have unique furniture that you're able to customize and move around however you please. And then Nook's Cranny. On the outside, you see the drop-off bin as well as the bulletin board and decoration along the roof. Maybe they're awnings, I think. Inside reveals a small cash register where you can buy the daily items the raccoons selling, such as a radio, a bucket, plant, and guitar. You can pay him with this giant sack of bells. This is the only sack of bells across the sets, actually. I wish there were more. I really like this piece. You can buy recipes inside the glass cabinet, fish bait, and flower seeds to beautify your island. Speaking of a beautiful island, it's time to build mine. First, we laid out the base plates to figure out a good size for the island. You'll notice some of these are brand new. We actually ran out of them 
them before building and took a quick trip to buy some more. I want a really big Animal Crossing island, so I came to the mall to find some more pieces. There's a local mom and pop store here that sells them. Here it is. Let's go shopping. They have lots of them in stock. I need three of these, and I already have a lot of this one, so I only need one. My Animal Crossing Island is gonna be incredible. Five stars only. Next, nature and landscaping. We can terraform later, but for now, this is the general layout of Isla Saurus. Highest elevation in the back and a river on the left leading down from it. Pretty sure the bamboo set is from another island, but my video, my rules, we're putting it all here. The town center is also laid out and there's actually a huge event happening there tonight, but that'll come into play later. I scattered the trees throughout the island with the two palm trees along the beach. So far, I think it's looking pretty good. There's a few accessories throughout, but for the most part, it's pretty bare. I really don't like seeing all of these giant gaps between the weird oval plates, especially when they're over the blue base plate, but we'll fix that once the rest of the builds are added. Speaking of builds, I wanna place our happy camper's tent just over here. I feel like that makes for a good campsite, right next to the fire pit, next to the ocean. Bunny's gonna have a lot of fun here. Next is Nook's Cranny. I think a good spot would be kind of in the middle near Town Square. That way it's easily accessible to anywhere on the island. Then we have Fauna's house. This will go in the back, elevated up on the second level. I think she'll be happy here. She's next to a lot of trees and the river. Then the final build is Rosie's house, and this will go to the left just past the river. I might have planned this one ahead a little bit since her tea party is already here. I like the layout so far, but it's a bit bland. Let's add some accessories. Included in these sets, we have bells, just one bag though, a crafting bench, tools, and a gift floating down with a balloon. We'll just scatter those around so they're easily accessible, but then we also have this poly bag full of spring fun accessories. So we're definitely gonna use this as well. We need to make sure the island's beautiful if we're gonna get five stars. This pack includes lots of flowers, some veggies, some white fences, stacks of hay, and lots of other little goodies that I think would be fun on the island. Now for the best part and the part that I've been most looking forward to, the minifigures. To recap on minifigs, we have eight in total across these five sets and then there's me. These minifigures are all unique. They all have different printing, head molds, and levels of sass. That side eye is next level on Marshall. Now obviously Rosie will go in front of Rosie's house. She's actually invited Marshall over for a tea party. But then we realized that Marshall had no way to get there so we built him this custom bridge to help him out. Fauna's a little bit closer to her house. She's headed to the store to buy groceries. Bunny is roasting marshmallows by the fire. Tom Nook is out in front of his store. I wanted to put him inside but also want to be able to see him clearly because I love him. So he's out in front. Greedy little landlord rat Coon. Isabel's in town square, but then there's Julian. It's Julian's birthday, so he's getting everything ready in the courtyard to throw a big party for the island. This is the only set I'm not including these little weird plates in because they're a different color and I think it'll look better this way. All of Julian's presents are laid out, his balloons and other party accessories. He's almost ready to party hard here. Hey, party people, it's me, and it's time for an island tour. We currently have four islanders, Captain, Isabel, and Tom Nook on Islasaurus. I'm looking forward to expanding and hopefully getting more villagers soon. We have tons of areas for islanders to relax, the campsite, the beach, they can take a boat ride, and even venture into the pine forest or bamboo forest. Beware the tarantula, but they only come out at night. There are many fresh foods here. Everything is grown fresh on the island. The whole island even comes together to celebrate occasions like Julian's birthday. Islasaurus is such a fun place. Thanks for checking it out. Tom Nook actually upgraded us to five star status earlier today, so I really hope you enjoyed your time here. Ross and I had so much fun building and getting creative with it. Including myself as a villager made it feel a lot more realistic too since that's how it is in the game. If you're planning on getting these sets and maybe building your own island, I definitely recommend finding a minifigure that looks like you to kind of include. It makes it a lot more fun. Well y'all, I still can't believe these exist. <laughs> I love Animal Crossing. After LEGO Super Mario came out in 2020, I thought that that would be the end of Nintendo IP sets, but I'm really happy that's not the case. I know it's still super early, right? But I'm really curious to see if there's gonna be another wave to Animal Crossing and what that might look like. Again, we're still missing KK Slider, so I don't know where he is, but I hope we get him soon.
maybe, <laughs> hopefully. Regardless of whether KK Slider is in the sets, I have seen a lot of hype for these already. So I'm assuming that they'll probably do well, which then means that we might get a second wave, but who knows? I'm also kind of curious if any other Nintendo IP might be happening in the future, because that would be awesome. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. I had so much fun working on this video, so I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to subscribe so you can watch more in the future. And if you didn't like it, then thanks for being here anyways, I guess. This is eight minutes of your life. You'll never get back. I'm sorry. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!